Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome on into day six of our Steam Next Fest coverage. Today, we're going to be trying out a small little um, roguelike survivor, survival, uh, horde like bullet hell type game called uh, Tiny Chaos. Um, played a little bit of this game. Um, it's super basic, but that doesn't mean it's a bad game. Uh, it doesn't necessarily do anything original. It's gonna play like a typical survivor game. You're gonna have uh, you're gonna have a bunch of different level ups and things that you can grind for uh, to make yourself stronger. There's a bunch of achievements to unlock where we're gonna get either sort of new upgrades or characters or spells. I think uh, like assassination uh, athlete. I'm not sure if these are new characters or whatnot, but they could be. Uh, like archers, uh, quick draw magazines, potion maniac, first aid. We're gonna. There's a bunch of stuff you can unlock here. So the game's not gonna feel too uh, in depth right now, probably because we don't have a lot of these um, different sort of upgrades or different characters that we're gonna be able to get. So this is gonna be super early gameplay. So let's jump into it. Uh, there's a couple. This is a co-op game too. I think it. It's probably uh, just local co-op but it is a co-op game but you start off with i think four classes you kind of get a soldier um a knight and they do have different abilities uh this one gets a shield uh this one's gonna get some frenzy attack and then let's see there's an archer and then there's a miner and you can see they all kind of do something special so after uh after every 10th attack archer will enhance her arrow Firing piercing magic arrows that deal 10 plus and then whatever your damage times 50 and your skill amp. Uh, so pretty cool. Uh, each character does play a little differently. You get your skill amps um, to modify your abilities. Let's try the archer today. I was playing as the knight earlier. The knight's okay. The knight only has literally just a melee sword though. Uh, so let's try the archer. There's currently only one stage. It looks like there's going to be... At least three, though, um, coming soon-ish. I don't know. This is just the demo, but I think I do have the early access version unlocked. So when the game does come out to release, I think I, I think I have that full version of it. So let's try it. I'm playing with controller, uh, and again, it plays like you would expect to. Uh, I think it has pretty good animations. Uh, I do enjoy the animations, especially the rolling animation. It's, it's a nice little touch. Let's get my mouse out of here. So you can see every, what was it, every fifth or tenth arrow, she's gonna shoot, um, she's gonna shoot a special arrow. Uh, and again, the, there's not, the level ups here aren't super exciting, which is kind of a bummer, because you're not really learning any new spells or skills that you do in some other games. Um, we just kind of stick with our bow most of the time. And then every once in a while, you'll get, um, there's these chests that will drop and um, from mini bosses or things like that, and they'll contain slightly better upgrades. But for the most part, you're just getting damage, attack speed, things like that. Uh, let's do the attack speed. There are different rarities, as you can see, which is nice. Uh, you have a stamina bar. So top left, you can see you have a blue stamina bar. We have a health bar, all that, all that good stuff. I like having the stamina bark because then you can basically roll and dodge as much as you want as long as you have the stamina. Okay, let's do the damage. So now you're going to see we have a special enemy type. It's, it's not really that much different, but it is sort of like an elite character. So now they dropped a chest, so they're going to provide us with a slightly bigger upgrade. Um, let's do the skill here. So that wasn't that wasn't it. <laughs> this is this is the chest. <laughs> I'm sure you were thinking, oh, that's not a better upgrade. OK, so every attack will deal between 50 and 200 percent damage. So this seems like a pretty good upgrade, actually. Because you only get a minus 50% decrease, but you can get a 100% increase in your damage. Uh, so the range actually feels pretty good for that. So we might take that one. Uh, you can get plus two stamina regeneration and 
but you're gonna get less movement speed evolve in 120 seconds i'm not sure what that means uh or we can get plus two hp regeneration or minus 15 but we get minus 15 current movement speed and current reload speed i don't i'm not sure what the evolve means I do like this unsteady hand, though, so I think we'll take that. Okay, and then let's do the plus four damage. So yeah, so we're going to be doing some pretty random damage now. Uh, this game does the one thing that I don't like that games do. Um, there's literally no reason to explore the map. Uh, I wish I wish more games would have that. I think it really I think it really helps with some of the longevity and replayability of games. Because now this is the type of game where you're basically um, you're basically just there's no reason to not go around in a circle. Uh, and I I'm not a huge fan of that. I wish I wish more games would kind of fix that and put put other things. I don't even think there's little crates or anything to run around and break and get gold. Uh, so 10% chance to, to pierce on attack, so we'll obviously take that, because those are unique to the to the archer. So you can see as we explore through the map, there's not going to be a... Um, there's, there's literally not going to be anything to break or collect. It would be nice if there was things like gold that you could... Little crates with gold or health or things like that. Uh, let's do the skill lamp. Yeah, you basically, it's basically just going to be a circle, circle simulator. Clump them up, run around in a circle. Okay, let's do, let's do the max HP. I think we start off with lower HP. Okay, so now we got our first mini boss. Alright, let's do, oh, plus four ammo. How does that work? Does the archer even really have a reload? I guess, yeah, I guess she does. I didn't even re notice that the archer does have a reload, but yeah, the archer does have a reload. Okay, well then let's do increases the reload speed. Okay, so now we get another kind of bigger upgrade. Uh, so let's see. 25% current max HP. We'll probably take that one. Uh, plus 50 potion capacity and fill it to the max. Uh, let's do this one. Okay, then we'll do the 6 damage. Oh, so I didn't even really notice this. It looks like we have a potion in the top left that replenishes our health when we um, when we get hit. So that's actually kind of a nice... That's kind of a cool touch. That's something you don't actually see in a lot of games. So as long, I guess as long as you're picking up potions and replenishing... So maybe if you have over full health, it kind of goes into an overflow. Okay, let's do the uh, attack speed. Yeah, so it goes into overflow. That's cool. I like that. Okay, let's do the attack speed again. I just think the one thing this game is lacking is I just think it's the something to do. Something to do while you're playing. I think every one of these games need that. Especially if you're not doing anything... Because this game doesn't necessarily... Again... This isn't a bad game. I think this game this game plays well. I think it looks cool. I like the animations. Uh, there's a lot to like about this this game, but it just it kind of lacks some of those things you need, you know, a little bit to to make it stand out or to make me want to keep playing it. Um, let's do the skill amp again.
But I really do, I really, really, really do think every game like this needs, needs, needs a reason to run around the map. Okay, double your damage and half your HP. Ooh. Uh, pull enemies to the start of the dodge roll that deal... I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to pull enemies closer to me. This one's rough, because I actually... let's Okay, let's try this one. Um, plus two stamina regeneration and minus 15% current movement speed. But it evolves after two minutes. So let's just... Let's see what the evolution does. Um, let's do the max stamina then. So we're gonna be a, we're gonna be a slow girl for a little bit. Okay, so let's do the six damage. I wish there was, I wonder if there's, I don't think there's a timer to show my, to show my 120 minute countdown. Alright, let's do skill amp. The game does have sort of a little bit of a graphical glitch, which you're probably seeing. Uh, um, I don't really know how to get rid of that. Like on the top of the screen, you can see this. Um, every once in a while, you see this uh, purple, purple bar show up. I'm not sure what that's about. I'm not sure if that's a graphical glitch or or what. Okay, let's do... Health potions give bonus stats equal to 25% the value to damage. That sounds pretty good. Let's probably do that one. Reflect the damage taken. Yeah, let's do this invigorate. Alright, let's do the skill amp. But I do like, I like level up rarities and all of that stuff. I like the stamina bar in this game. Um, again, since we're really early on too, I'm not sure if you get any sort of better types of level ups versus just, you know, damage and stamina. I really hope you do, but I honestly, I don't really know. All right, let's do the unique one. 20% chance to pierce. Because you know most games like this you can roll with uh, some sort of special abilities, some sort of missiles that shoot out or things like that. I don't know. I really don't know if this game has it. There's no indication early on that it does. Let's do the movement speed. I don't know if that thing evolved yet. I didn't pay attention to the timer. I should have looked at the timer to see. I still feel like I'm moving slow, though. Okay, so increases item catch radius. Evolve after collecting 300 coins. Um... 30% chance to stun attacked enemies. 30% chance to stun attacked enemies for two seconds. Guaranteed critical on proc. Um, sure, let's try that. I wish it, it needs to show me the evolution, though. Um... If 
that's what if that's what's happening, we need to we need to show the evolutions here. Or at least give me a timer on the left hand side where the ability is. Okay, let's do that attack speed. See if I can do anything else to fix that. Oh, so it's obviously not the V sync. Um, full screen. I well, I mean, I need to play full screen. Uh, let's try. Yeah, let's try upping the. No other yet. Sound graphics. Buy graphic changes. I don't know if there's actual bosses either. There, there's clearly mini bosses because it keeps announcing a mini boss, mini boss. Let's see, oh, right, <laughs> right as we, right as we talk about it, mini boss. But um, I don't know if there's actual bosses. Maybe if we survive till ten. I was gonna say I, I don't think these guys have any special attacks, but then all of a sudden that one did a special attack. Alright, let's do the damage. Okay, unlock the new ability to have 1% chance to life steal 1% of the damage dealt. Uh, triple current ammo capacity, but way less reload speed. Where attack will always critical damage, but cannot heal or regenerate HP anymore. Ooh, that sounds risky. Let's do the life steal. <laughs> Can't heal anymore. That's deadly. Yeah, that man, that purple screen, that purple thing keeps coming up on the top. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of it. I can try to exit full screen, but I'm not gonna. I'm obviously I'm not gonna do that because that's probably gonna mess up. That's probably gonna mess up my feed. Okay, let's do the skill amp. Oh, let's try to get this potion so I can um, refill my my thing. Oh, here's the boss. Ten minutes. There is the boss. Cool. See, this is sweet. I <laughs> this game is cool in a in a lot of good ways. I just wish it would do a few things differently. I just wish it had just a few more things. I love these. I love this boss fight though. This is great. We, yeah, we're definitely, this is going to be a tough boss fight, though. Because we're not, we're not meta progressed enough to be doing really good damage or anything. So we're not, we're not really going to be a, a, an efficient killing machine. But this is a, this is a really good boss fight, to be honest. This is a really good boss fight. This is going to take forever to kill the holy cow. Oh no, it hit us. We're not I wonder if we're not going to be able to regenerate our health either cuz we don't have any more potions or anything. 
<laughs> this is gonna be such a long fight. I really need to increase my damage and that's gonna be I guess probably the first thing we that's gonna be the first thing we update in our meta progression is uh is our damage. He's only about twenty five percent dead. It doesn't help that he keeps summoning minions too that that I have to deal with. Almost halfway. <laughs> We're almost halfway. Oh no. I can't afford to get hit at all. would be tough with a melee character. It's lucky we have a it's lucky we have a ranged character for this fight. Oh stop summoning the minions. No, 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 no. All right, he's about 66% dead. We're slowly working our way there. get rid of that thing on the <laughs> on the left hand side it was blocking my path he's not regenerating health is he Yeah, this is such a long fight. I I hope we can do it, but I don't know. I can't I really can't take any hits. Feels like it's taking forever to get this last of his health down. Is he regenerating? It's hard to I it's hard to pay attention to his health bar and play the game. I feel like his health isn't going down though. No, it is. He's almost dead. Slow and pa oh no, bigger guys. I was gonna say just slow and patient. But now this this is gonna be because now I need to get out of this guy's way, these guys' ways too. Oh come on. 
come on. This is ridiculous now. I don't know if I should focus on the... Oh. <laughs> it's non-stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. He's so close, too. Oh, my gosh. He's, he's still going. Please. Oh, no, 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 no. They're just... He, these guys are just shielding all of my attacks, really. Okay, let's get some good ones. Oh no, we took a hit there. We only have 18 HP left. Stop running away from me. Oh, my stamina. My stamina's out. He's almost dead. Come on. Oh, we did it. I killed him. Yes. <laughs> oh, my stamina ran out too. Middle of that. And I couldn't dodge. Oh, split your attack into three. Sure. Oh, man. That was rough. Holy cow. So now, now it said bonus stage. I don't know what bonus stage means. So maybe now it's just ultimate endless mode until we die. See, this game just needs, you know, just... Please, please, just add a little bit more to this game in terms of collectibles around the map. Maybe some different sort of upgrade abilities when you level up. And this game, this game has all the potential to be a, a pretty good uh, roguelike survivor. Because I, I like the characters, I like the gameplay, I like the animation. Uh, I'm about to die here too, which is which is okay. I mean, we beat the boss. We did our, we did our, we completed our mission, I would say. And I don't know what that little purple glitch is, though. I just, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's on my end or the game's end. Uh, okay. After taking damage, 50% plus one chance to gain huge boost of movement speed. Or when HP drops to 50% plus five damage and attack speed per so minus 25% damage resistance. Well, let's take that, because um, I'm below 50 right now, so <laughs> look at our attack speed. We'll just take it. We'll just we'll finish out the game it, with a uh, mass DPS. Yeah, the horde is they are just coming now. They, this is basically the game saying, all right, game over. Uh, you're gonna die now. Yep. GG's. That was a pretty good run, I mean, for our first real run. Uh, okay, let's go to the main menu. Man, did we really only get 246 gold? Okay, well, we got a ton of... Wow, we got a lot of, um... A lot of bonus gold, though. At least that's a thing. Okay, then what did we get? We got some reward. I don't know what that reward was, though. Look at all these. <laughs> Look at all these upgrades we're getting. Heck of gold. 
Okay, so what were some of those achievements we got? Is it going to show us? Okay, so we got opportunist. See, I don't know what these are. Um, I don't know if these are level up abilities or whatnot. We got athlete, uh, potion maniac. Yeah, so those are the only actual abilities we got. And then we got a lot of gold. So let's go to our upgrades. 6,000. Okay, we're definitely going to do our DPS. Man, this is not going to go very far. Okay, so we'll do a uh, two damage. Let's do increases base attack speed. And holy cow, why are these so expensive? These jump up in cost so quick. <laughs> okay, let's do we'll do kind of the minimum because the first ones are always the cheapest, you know? So it's, it seems that it's always nice to do at least one upgrade of each one. So one stamina. All right, but now we're broke. Holy cow. Uh, we should have done XP gain. Uh, I can refund some of them, but we'll go back and do that later. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, this has been Tiny Chaos again. I think this game has a good base. Doesn't necessarily do anything original or unique, you know, um, but I think it is a solid foundation. I really like that boss fight, even though it took us a long time to kill him, but that's partially probably because we're just not meta progressed enough. Um, I am looking forward to the release. I hope that they're able to add some more stuff to it. Um, let's see. I don't think we got any extra characters or anything. I think we still have just these four characters. Um, I like the characters. I like having different characters with different specialties and things like that. I think that's always a really good thing. I think you just need to add more things to do in the actual game. Uh, even if it's even if it's just something as simple as crates to go break while you're walking around and collecting gold and health potions and things like that. Even things like that at, at the bare minimum would at least help versus having to just kind of run around in a circle because I didn't I didn't see anything. So I don't think there's anything else in there. But yeah, uh, pretty good game. I, I like it. I think it's I think it's a fun, solid game. Definitely worth keeping an eye on. Uh, we'll probably wishlist it and well, actually, I, I think I already have because it says I unlocked unlocked early access version, but I don't think the early access version is live yet. So we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I'll I'll come back when the actual early access uh, unlocks and we'll see if there's anything, anything new to it. But here we go. That's it. This has been Tiny Chaos. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day.